Okay, so how many of you heard, um, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life? And this is a pretty common statement, but um, I'm here to talk about the importance of it and what I feel, um, how it pertains to my life and the importance of it. Um, so often today, I think we focus on going to school, you know, getting a degree, getting a good job, just to make enough money to get by in life. And so many people today almost have lost the youth in, the, in their hearts and really, you know, follow after their dreams and do what they love because, you know, they just feel like the opportunity is not there anymore and they can't follow their passion and follow their dreams because it just seems too big. And, you know, I think so many of us lose track of our dreams because of other people telling us it's not possible and it just seems too big and we need to make money and we need to support ourselves and, you know, not always is it just, you know, us that we're supporting, there's our family members, you know, everyone has their own um, different, you know, responsibilities in their life and who they have to take care of and what they have to take care of. Um, we might not all have the opportunity to just go after our dreams and uh, not go to school and not get our degrees and, you know, find a way to financially support ourselves, but I feel like if you're doing really what you love in your life and you're doing your passion, you know, there's no way that you're going to not succeed and do well in it, you know. Some of the times you might find that you're not able to make a career out of it and you might not be able to, you know, financially be stable on, you know, your passion and what you want to do in your life, but, you know, as long as you give that effort and you really try to go out there and make it happen and make a career out of it and just do what you love, um, you can't live your life regretting knowing that you tried. And if you, you know, sit there and it doesn't work out, you know, just always make sure that, you know, if you have to do a nine to five job that you're still doing what you love on the side because you never know the opportunities that, you know, might come out of that. And um, I found on, it's called according to growth.com, um, there's top five reasons why people don't follow their dreams. The first one is they can't figure out how to make their dreams happen. And like I said, um, sometimes it, they just seem so big and like it's just so impossible and that you can't go out and do what you love because of all the other aspects in your life that you have going on. And it, so many people tell you it's not, a, it's not able to happen because, you know, you have to do so many other things to, you know, um, to make your dreams come true and it's just not even in your cards. And the next is they get distracted by every day life and you know that's going to work and you know I think we all get caught up in the hustle of the nine to five and I, I see so many people who even got their degrees and went to school and thought they wanted to do something and then they get out and due to the economy there's not that many jobs available and they're stuck in an entry level job where they're not they're not, you know, expressing or using any of their talent and they're just sitting there day to day because they're comfortable and it pays the bills and it gets done what it needs to get done but they're just unhappy because they're never going to truly know who they were supposed to be in their life and what they really wanted to do. Um, third is they're scared they would fail and I think that's the biggest one for all of us is, you know, if you go out and you just, you try but you don't succeed, it just automatically knocks you down and you feel like it's never able to happen, but I feel like you're going to go through many trials before you get to, you know, where you really want to be because if you don't, then you're not going to appreciate it as much once you finally get there. And I think that if you don't take the risk, then you're probably not going to try as hard in the end because if there's nothing on the line, then what's the point of really going after it and trying really hard? Um, fourth is they, you know, lose track of what it is. I think many of us growing up, our parents have goals and aspirations for us and dreams that they want us to follow, and sometimes they might be their dreams, but it's it never fully happened because it really, really wasn't what you wanted in your heart, and you're just doing it to please somebody else, and it just doesn't add up because you're not you're not putting everything into it because it's it's not yours and people don't take the time to really find who they are and what they really want to do because you know they lose track of who they are and they're so focused on other people's dreams. Um, fifth was their friends and family 
we're telling them it's not feasible and that it's crazy. And I know many people, this is probably the biggest one because it is true, many people tell you it's not going to work because they never went after their dreams and they never, you know, succeeded in what they wanted to do in their life. And it's easy for them to knock you down because they never went out and tried and their life is filled with regret and telling you that it's not going to happen because theirs didn't happen. Um, so I think that's just very important to, you know, realize and understand that we're, we're in a generation now where there is still a lot of opportunity and, you know, there's, I feel like the world would be a better place if we all did what we would love and we would be a lot happier and we would just know that many new things would be invented and discovered because people would put everything into what they do. And I, I could even say from personal experience, you know, my dad is a, a very hardworking man and came from nothing and does, has done extremely well for himself, but he is 50 years old now and he still, you know, works so hard. And I don't, I don't know what his dream was, but I know it was probably to be more successful than what he had growing up. And he's done well at that, but still doesn't take the time out of his day to do anything that he truly loves. And I think, you know, it's sad and it's very important to still do those things. And maybe making the money was, you know, good, but on the side, what did you really do that was your passion in your life to um, make something happen? And I, I, like I said, I see so many people that, you know, they're like, oh yeah, you know, I work at the bank or I do this and I got my degree and I make good money, but I'm not doing what I'm, I love to do and I'm not happy and, and people are just so stuck in being comfortable and just, you know, that's it, I, I'm making enough money so that's all I need to do and I'm comfortable where I'm at and, and I think it's, it's just really sad and I think people should really strive to work harder on just taking more risks in their lives and following um, their heart and I think they'll realize that more opportunity will, you know, come with that. Um, I also found on guardian.co.uk that um, a nurse did a, a study, um, her name's Bonnie, Bonnie Ware, and she's an Australian nurse who spent several years working, um, caring for patients in the last two, 12 weeks of their life. Um, so she did a study on what were the top five regrets of dying. And the first one was, is I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself and not what others expected of me. Um, she goes on to quote that this was the most common regret of all when people realize that their lives are almost over and look back clearly on it, it is easy to see how many dreams that have gone unfulfilled. Most people um, had not honored even half of their dreams and had died knowing that it was due to choices that they made or not made. Um, it says, health brings freedom but very few realize until they no longer have it that that's um, what was important from the beginning. Um, number two is I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Uh, this, this came from every male patient that she nursed and they miss their children. They regret missing their children's youth and the, the partnership with their companion. And women also spoke of this regret, but it was most, <clears throat> most were from the older generations where the female patients had not been breadwinners. All of the men that she nursed deeply regretted spending so much of their lives on the treadmill of the work existence. Um, number three is, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Um, many so people suppress their feelings in order to keep peace with others. As a result, they settled for a mediocre existence and never became who they were truly capable of becoming. Um, and I think that's, you know, a huge thing right now is we're scared to express who we are and what we love to do because it just, it, people don't feel comfortable with it and we're scared of what people close to us are gonna think. So I think that's a really big one that we would struggle with. Um, number four it doesn't really pertain to it, so I'm not gonna go on and read it, but it just says I wish I would have stayed in touch with my friends. Um, and number five is I wish I had let myself be happier. and. Um, she goes on to quote that this is surprisingly a common one. Many did not realize until the end that happiness is a choice and they had stuck in old patterns and habits. The, the so-called comfort or familiarity of overflow into their emotions as well as their physical lives. Fear of change had, led them, had left them pretending to others and 
themselves and 